Hi, welcome to this episode of Shift. It's been a long time. I'm your host, Palmonia Gordon. Thank you for joining us today. Today, we stop by to say Merry Christmas. We just wanted to stop in to see how you're doing, to check up how the Christmas celebrations are going, and most of all, to see if you're ready for 2020. Yay! I'm not sure if you're like me. You can't really wait because so much has happened, so many changes. Uh, a lot of it's been good, it's been growth, it's been learning, and uh, at one point I bit off more than I can actually chew, and because it's all protect stuff, I can't even tell you about it. I stopped by to wish you Merry Christmas, seriously. I wish each of you will take a moment and just reflect on your year uh, to say thank you. I know it wasn't easy for some of you. Many of us set goals that our lives took detours and took paths that it, it would appear that it took you away from where you were intending to go. And I can only tell you from experience because there is no really hard evidence that I can place in your hand. But I need you to trust me to know that even though it appears that you have moved away from your goal, I will guarantee you that you are now on a path that is in alignment to take you exactly where you need to be. Even if you are one of those individuals that have chosen to be disobedient. I call those people the Jonas in life. When God says so, you go, mm -mm, not doing it. And you take a path. Unfortunately, that path that you take impacts many others along the way. But at the end of the day, you come right to that point and you probably say, man, why didn't I do this a whole lot sooner? Why didn't I take the easy route? But what's important is that you end up where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be here right now getting this Christmas greeting. I don't sing. I would sing you a song. And chances are YouTube would flag it, flag it anyway because it's somebody else's uh, stuff. So Merry Christmas. We love you, family. We wish you all the best for 2020 because 2020 is a year of promises fulfilled. So can I give you a bit of encouragement to understand and realize that whatever goals and dreams you didn't make for 2017, 2018, 2019, they're coming up in 2020. And they're coming up and they will be bigger and better than what you could even imagine or hope for. We want you to tell us about them. We want you to say, hey, Pamonia, you were right. As a matter of fact, I had a young lady that recently messaged me and she found a clip from black woman, Mr. Nigel Birch. And she goes, oh my God, his poem is the answer to her poem that she wrote a few years ago and she was going through her divorce. So what am I saying? I'm saying that your promises are coming. They may not be gift wrapped under your tree Christmas morning, but they are gift wrapped and they are on the way. 
What's important is that you're going to maintain your faith. You're going to maintain hope and you're going to keep believing no matter what. If and when you feel like your faith is failing, I want you to call me. I want you to text me. I want you to send me a message that says, Palmonia, I feel like my faith is about to fail. I will and I commit to come alongside you. To be like Aaron or Miriam. That when the children of Israel were at war and all Moses had to do was hold out the rod. And as long as he kept the rod up, they won. As long as his hand went down, they lost. So you know what? Miriam and Aaron, they set up stones beside him. And when his hand of its own started going down, one of them would lift it up back for him. So I invite you to connect with me, with someone else from Shift Community, with someone else in the community around you that will help you keep your hand up, meaning help you to have faith, help you to keep believing, help you to keep dreaming and not let go. It doesn't matter what you see physically around you because if you have watched shift simply helping individuals find their true passion and purpose by sharing our thoughts our stories and our ideas you will know by now that we are outside the box and that everything we do looks odd feels odd sounds odd but it's perfect for who we are. I love you, family. God bless you. I wish blessing and prosperity and health and healing and hope and vibrancy and life for 2020. I wish that every dream and hope and promise that you will receive will be 10 and 20 times more than what you could expect or imagine. 2020, we're gonna 2020 it. Grant Cardone says 10X. No, we're gonna 2020 for 2020. I love you. God bless you. Have a good day.